It's a Thursday afternoon at Creation Technologies in Lexington, and the first shift is in full gear, producing custom-designed electronic solutions. But not every employee is on the floor working. Some are taking company time to receive free dental screenings through a partnership with the University of Kentucky College of Dentistry. This program is an example of the corporate culture at Creation Technologies in action. Now, our culture is uh, very simple. We want to enrich lives uh, by sustaining a strong, profitable growth and a warm and caring culture. Since our culture is one of caring, uh, we certainly care about employees. And the way we view it is um, a healthy employee uh, is a little bit happier. Now, whether that turn into productivity improvements uh, remains to be seen, but we also know that if we can inform them and educate them on how to uh, improve their health from an individual basis and also translate that into their family basis, then uh, we believe we're enriching lives. We're back to talk about your oral health and some things I want to talk to you about today is your oral health can affect your overall health. Health education is very important to the company which offers monthly lunch and learns on topics of interest to employees. Joanna Albo from the UK College of Dentistry spoke recently about oral health. So some people I say, well, how much soda do you drink? Well, I only drink one a day, they say. Well, do you sip on it? And they'll say, yes, I do, I sip on it. And what happens is it takes 20 minutes for your saliva in your mouth to clear out foods and especially sugary drinks. And by sipping on something or having frequent um, intakes of sugar, you're feeding the bacteria. So again, I wanted to um, just drive home that point of prevention Prevention, you know, there's often we hear people say, oh, well, why should I go to the dentist? Nothing hurts. But what they don't realize is by the time it hurts, there's a very large problem and it can be very expensive and time consuming. And of course, then they're in pain and that we could prevent all of that. Employee Dennis Vowles understands the value of prevention through personal experience. I grew up until I was 12 years old, I probably didn't own a toothbrush, so I never visited a dentist growing up. Um, my mother was 65 years old when she passed, and she'd never been to the dentist in her life, ever. And naturally, I had multiple cavities and, and made an extensive dental work. It affects me even today. I'm 51 years old, and uh, this all happened when I was a child, and my self-esteem still suffers. A lot of people are somewhat fearful of going to dentist, and you'd be surprised how many people don't go on a yearly basis. I am very scared of the dentist. I don't do needles. I'm scared to death of doctors. And then I went through one little episode with my daughter. They took her back and told me I couldn't go with her. She had a rotten front tooth and pulled it, and I had to sit and listen to her scream. And it broke my heart, so I just, I don't do the dentist. It's, it's helped a whole lot. I've got three wisdom teeth that need to come out, and I've been knowing that, but I just scared of the dentist. But I'm gonna go get that taken care of. Oh, this is so nice. This is, it's very important for me because it means the we count, you don't know? It's, it's important, yes. And I'm really very grateful that what I do for us right now to bring these, you know, these people to come and check it out, so well. Dentist problems is, is very good, yes. According to experts, worksite initiatives like this, if broadly adopted by other businesses, could make an impact on the oral health of Kentuckians, particularly adults. Adults are very difficult to get to uh, in, in, in a public health sense uh, because they don't go to school. Uh, the only thing they do uh, corporately is go to work. And so if we can get the messages out about oral health and how to take care of oneself and, and how to combat the epidemic of dental disease, oral diseases in our state, the best way to do that is in a company uh, or a corporate kind of atmosphere. What I'm learning from this initiative is that if you are willing to listen to a person and realize that they are an individual with individual needs um, and you can build that trust, that they're not only going to learn more from you and, and take value in their oral health, um, but you're more likely to kind of make a change. I would love to sit and tell you that 100% of our employees think it's, it's great, uh, but uh, that wouldn't be true. 
Um, more than likely, if we're able to touch uh, anywhere between 30 to 70 percent of our employees that uh, believe that, wow, I can't believe I work for a company uh, that really cares for me as an individual and my health enough, not just for me to put in my day's work and get as much as I can out. Uh, it makes them feel really special and that we are a different company. And, and the most important thing for us as an employer is and we're living our culture, and just because we say our culture is to enrich lives, uh, we show it uh, through our wellness program.